Hey guys, Andy Graham here. I wanted to show you the Green Machine's hi-hat mechanism. It's been getting a lot of attention ever since it was featured in uh, the May 2016 Modern Drummer, Kid of the Month. So I'm really excited about this. People are interested and they want to know how to build these things. So I'm going to show you the mechanism up close and uh, give you some tips on how to build one yourself. This is something that I'm really excited about because it works much better than I thought it was going to work when I came up with the idea. I've always loved the cocktail kit because it's uh, so small and portable, easy to move, and a lot of the work I do these days is grooves and pockets, so I don't really need a big kit like I used to. So that's really appealing to me. Um, the problem is that cocktail kits never have hi-hats, not real ones at least. Sometimes people will put X-hats on them, and that's great, but if you want to open and close it with your foot, there's really no way to do that. So the challenge for me was to figure out a way to make that possible. And the best way I could think of was to make it so that you play the hi-hat with your heel and then play the bass drum with the regular bass drum pedal. And the result is this, and it works a lot better than I ever thought it would. So I'm really happy to share this with you guys. I hope uh, you get out in the shop and make some version of this. So let me uh, show you the mechanism and show you how it works. Okay, so what you see here is the entire unit. It's all bolted down to a base plate made out of plywood. And um, I took the hi-hat tripod and I used it to fabricate most of what you see here. This entire pedal here, the linkage, these uprights, pretty much everything that's made of chrome is made from the tripod. And this is the linkage. And this operates the hi-hat. You can't see the symbols, they're up above. And the way it works is this is uh, a regular pearl bass drum pedal and I inverted it by flipping the cam around and just like you do on any cocktail kit and it plays great. This pedal here, which is the hi-hat, just goes over the original pedal over the, where your heel would be. So if you're playing, let's say here's my foot right here and I'm playing like this, you can play the bass drum like this and then by lifting my heel I can play the hi-hat. So, um, what else about this? Okay, this is the metal hoop that's the bottom of the kit. And the reason I attached feet to it, I actually welded these on and attached them, two reasons. One is so it'll hold the kit in place. And the second reason is I wanted it suspended at an exact height, but have it independent of the uh, legs that hold the actual shell, because the legs that hold the shell are actually keeping the weight off of this so that the uh, drum kit weight doesn't uh, crush down on the head and change the tunings. And it just keeps the thing really solid. Um, the last thing I want to show you, you might be noticing that this bass drum pedal, there's a wire. This is called a trigger foot. It's another invention I came up with, another drum hack. And what it is, is there's an actual trigger inside of here. You can uh, trigger sound effects or other bass drum sounds. Uh, if you want to know how to make this pedal for yourself, just click on this link somewhere in here and uh, it'll take you to a video of how to build that. Okay, so that's the whole mechanism. I'd like to move on to the shell now and show you how that works. Okay, this is the shell of the kit. And it looks like one drum shell, but it's really two floor toms put together, two 16 inch floor toms. And if you're gonna make one of these for yourself, uh, don't use 16 inch floor toms, use 18 inch toms. Uh, I'll show you why in a second. But it turned out really well. It looks like one piece. And I wanna show you from here, to here is the bass drum chamber. You can see inside of there. And notice at the top end of it, there's a ring inside of it, about three inches wide. That's the coupling ring that holds the two halves together. And everything is uh, glued together with Gorilla Glue, really strong. And you might even be able to see inside of there, there's some wooden dowels poking through. I added those for extra strength. Okay, so like I said, from here over is the bass drum. Now from here over is not a drum at all, but really a housing for the snare drum. And you can see inside of it, there are three posts that the snare drum sits on. And they're situated so that the drum sits about a half inch above the top when uh, it's mounted inside. And these holes here are for the you know, sound to escape for the snare drum, and then I got big holes here for the bass drum. So just kind of a unique design. I really wanted to keep it looking like the monolithic 1940 style one piece drum. I didn't want to have the uh, bass drum and the snare drum as one drum. I wanted it to be two different drums. All right, this is the snare drum that fits down inside the shell. 
I wanted to show you um, the reason why I said earlier not to use 16 inch toms to make one of these, but use 18 inch. The reason why is with this, I had to take the lugs off the snare drum just to get it to fit inside. And I replaced them with these bolts, which is just a temporary thing until I get some better low profile lugs, either have to make them or buy them. Again, you know, 18 inch floor toms would eliminate that problem. You could just drop any snare inside. enjoyed watching the video and if you're inspired to make one of these kits for yourself I hope you do uh, if you have any questions about the kit just give me an email at the address below and I'll try to get back with you really quickly so thanks again for watching um, for the last part of this video I put together a slideshow of all the photos I took when I constructed the green machine all right thanks a lot <laughs>